A civil rights investigation expected in Georgia after an armed Somali woman was shot and killed by police over the weekend. The woman's family says she was having a mental health crisis and called police for help, but she was shot after refusing to drop a knife. Fox 9's Maury Glover, live in Minneapolis for us tonight. Maury, activists here in the metro held a vigil for that woman tonight. That's right. That woman's family says she suffered from bipolar disorder for the past eight years, and tonight her death is causing, uh, hitting close to for some in the local Somali community. Outside the Cedar Cultural Center, shockwaves from the death of a Somali woman halfway across the country are being felt here in Minnesota. It's really tragic because the police are here to, like, you know, support, or to be... A force of safety, right? Like people rely on them and call them when they need help. But I feel like many black people don't believe that they can get that from them. Over the weekend, 36 year old Shukri Saeed was shot by two officers in Johns Creek, Georgia, after her family called police because she was suffering from a mental health crisis. Police say Saeed had a knife and they used a taser and foam impact round to de escalate the situation. But she refused to drop her weapon, and the two officers opened fire. She died from her injuries at a nearby hospital. It's no longer acceptable for police to respond to uh, someone exhibiting mental health crisis, and then that end in an actual tragic uh, uh, of killing, just like in this case. The group says officers need more training to handle people with mental illnesses, and that the continued deaths of people of color, like Jamar Clark and Philando Castile, at the hands of police have to stop. We're concerned about how law enforcement act uh, when the crisis becomes very difficult, but the actual person on the other side does not look like them, including them being uh, African Americans. In the end, local Somalis say police shouldn't be judge, jury, and executioner for someone they are supposed to help. When police who are like, like here to protect us and support us, we can't even call on them to protect us. Like, who can we call? Now, the Georgia uh, chapter of CARE says it will launch its own civil rights investigation into Saeed's death. In the meantime, the Minnesota chapter says it will hold several other events here to remember her. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Randy.